All right, guys, this one is 2938 Daybreak Drive here on Cypress Lakes. Um, nice house. A couple things that I noticed just right away. This is, the tree is getting this popped up. Um, the only thing to do would be to take that tree out to make that stop, but it's a pretty tree. So <clears throat> um, this one is the 4-3. It does have a bedroom with a bath downstairs, uh, pool, and then on the roof up here, those are panels for heating the pool. So it's solar for the pool. Um, whoever is here, there's one person here. Everything else looks like they've moved out. <clears throat> so probably some motivation to, to go. It's only been listed for seven days. You are on conservation. But here's the thing. Oh, and you're on a little cul-de-sac. That way. This is a nice little area. Um, you've got community pools. You've got... Um, walking trails, a lot of a lot of things to do. Uh, you're not far at all from downtown. Um, restaurants, shopping. Waterford Lakes has all kinds of restaurants and shops and such. Let's go inside here. So you come in. You've got two living spaces. You got one off to the right, one off to the left. I will. I will say there is a. There's an odor in here and I don't know what it is. It just feels, it smells dirty. Like person dirty. Anyway, here you've got, this is the downstairs bedroom. Um, good enough for a, for a bed. And then you've got the bedroom, or the, um, the bathroom across the way. This one is probably a 10 by 12, 10 by 11. Step-in closet, shelving. Let's see. Kitchen's nice and open. It's got stone countertops, 42 inch cabinets with crown molding, pantry space there. Plus that, plus you have this pantry, pantry space. Uh, matte finish appliances, which are nice. But it opens up over there and over here. So this would probably be more of a dining room technically, but I would probably utilize it as two separate living spaces. Oh, here's a dining space here, that's why. And then you have the big, insanely giant TV. It's on a full mounted rack, so it'll go. They, they really like the shiplap. Here you can see this goes, that pushes back so you can have it against the wall. Oh, a little back there. Um, let's see. A little cut out there. Just trying to look around and get everything as I can and see what I'm finding as I'm walking. So you have an indoor laundry here. Um, let's see if washer and dryer. Washer and dryer are listed, so they stay. They're older, but they probably work. We'll see. Two car garage, lots of storage, high ceiling, so you get lots of storage up higher. Your AC is 2014. Here we have a combo unit. Um, if you're in Miami, you're used to these. But <clears throat> the heat, air, all inside there. Um, probably needs a little maintenance on it, but it doesn't look too bad. Water heater. Uh, you have an irrigation system, which is the control there. So yeah, it just needs, it needs some love. It's a little, a little loved in. So like here, you notice the floor is moving. It just wasn't properly installed. And I saw another area over here that we got the same issue going on. Not the end of the world, but it just, it wasn't, it wasn't done properly. So it was probably DIY. So it needs some, some fixes for that. Here you have the Harry Potter closet. So a bunch of storage underneath. It goes down and around. But before we go upstairs, let's go out back. This is nice. So you'd have a big covered lanai. Those marks are just from uh, where the drywall seam is. They get moisture from being outside, so they just 
they, they fail. They just have to be redone. Um, fan doesn't really look like it's an outdoor fan possibly. That's why it's starting to droop. <clears throat> but you got pavers. You got pool equipment over here. And then a little bit of a yard back here. Uh, this is a child safety fence for the pool. But this is, oh, this is nice. So you're restricted on what kind of fencing you can put up when you're on the, um, when you're on the conservation. So that's why they have the picket. You have to be able to see it basically. But you have a yard, you have a hot tub. Was the upstairs. There's solar there as well. So decent yard. Pool, I'm not sure why that's why this uh, pool automatic pool cleaner is not getting everything out there, but it should be. Well, let's head back inside. Sorry, I'm going to whip you around there. I'll get that on the way out. So let's go upstairs. So carpet is a little beat up. Oh, I didn't go over the details. Sorry, this is a 2001 four bedroom, three bath um, at 23 and 29 square feet. So you have a good loft up here. This is nice. You have a probably bedroom number three over here. This is a good size. This is bigger than the one downstairs. This is probably a 12 by 12 by 12, maybe. Not counting the closet space. Then you have this one. It's even bigger. I'm not sure where all the closet doors are. They took them off. Obviously they had some kids here, but I'm not sure where they went with them. But yeah, carpets, you know, needs needs some love. This is builder grade. <coughs> Excuse me. Did a little DIY on the uh, mirror. But tub, shower, toilet, you know, it's pretty typical bathroom. You have a closet, linen closet outside of that. You have another linen closet here. Nice light fixture. Um, here's the owner suite. And this is good size. Fan is on high. Sorry, I got. I don't know if you can see that text message keep popping up. Some of my friends are golfing today, so they are giving the scores. I guess. Here we go. It's a really large master suite here. And your view out back from here. Um, again, carpet is in need. I had a mirror there. So this is one closet. They've kind of done some built-ins, blocked off the access to the to the um, attic space there. But dual vanity, separate toilet, garden tub, nice shower. That looks like it's been upgraded because normally they sit right right here. So I think they pulled it out and made it larger, which is nice. Crown molded in here, and this is the secondary closet, which is a little bigger. So it's kind of a his, her closet space. But yeah, overall, it's not bad. It just, it, you know, for the size and the location, I think the price pretty good. Obviously, we can hit them lower, but the, um, the overall condition is, is okay. It needs it again. It needs some love on it, but I don't think it's horrible. The bones seem to be okay. So I'll uh, send you this one, and then we'll take a look at the next one. Thanks.